Sorry about that, I hit the wrong button and turned it off while trying to find the zoom. There's the zoom, there is a York Affinity Series heat pump. You can hear heat pumps running all over the place. Heat Pump Symphony. Alright, the York just shut off. Don't know how many nominal tons the York is. Goodman. This one is newer, but it does not have a data sheet on it. Actually, it has a. Yeah, I think this is the one that didn't have a data sheet on it. Oh, wait, I was wrong. It does have a data sheet. Now, this house doesn't have a finished basement, and this one's a 36,000 BTU, I think. So that's a three nominal ton, but this house doesn't have a finished basement like my grandmother's, so it probably doesn't need the extra cooling capacity. And I don't know about the York. All these houses were built in the um, early to mid 90s and there are only like one or two homes in the entire neighborhood that I'm aware of that still have the original heat pumps. Most of them have died and been replaced. Yeah, here's the Goodman. As you can see, it's got the Copeland reciprocating compressor. And, oh damn, Brian just defrosted. I don't know if it went out of defrost or went into defrost. Can't believe I heard that all the way across the way. Brian's defrosting. Now this one definitely does not have um, demand defrost because it's there's hardly any ice on it, and it's defrosting anyway. Quick defrost cycle. My grandmother actually used to own the house with the um, Bryant heat pump, but um, yeah, she moved away, then a few years later she moved back into a different house in the same neighborhood. And I have permission from the new owner of my grandmother's house to go over there and videotape the heat pump. Alright, I don't know why this thing shut off so early. Um, I told my grandmother to set 70. This is another cool feature of this house. Genuine Georgia Fieldstone. When they built this neighborhood, they actually had a stonemason on site cutting all these stones. And the house also has Pella double-paned windows. These are high-quality houses. They have, like most newer home, homes built from the 80s and 90s onward, they have a few um, corners cut, but this is a high quality custom built luxury home. And there's the propane tank. There is on-site propane. 
think this is it. Yeah, that's the propane tank. There's a bunch of these all over the neighborhood. And these are for the fireplaces. My grandmother's house actually has a gas boiler that's tied into the air handler. But that's not, I think it, I'm pretty sure it works, but it's not hooked up right now. And like I said, all the homes have gas fireplaces. And the one with the other Goodman in the other side of this building has a gas stove. The owners switched from an electric stove to a gas stove. But every other house in this neighborhood that I've built, that I've been in, still has an electric range oven. The other one, they did a major kitchen renovation, and it has a double wall oven and a gas range. This one, my grandma's house, still has the original kitchen from 93. Corian countertops, custom cabinets, it's a nice kitchen. So, alright, I am going to inch up the thermostat, see if I can get the thing to come back on. Alright, I don't know how to turn this damn thing off. <laughs> 